Oh. Howdy, howdy, guys. Is Fred. Hey, guys. Um, it is oh, Thursday. Sorry, not Friday. Uh, dead. It's Thursday. When I'm recording this, uh, the video will go live tomorrow. Uh, I am having a big cup of day. It's in down with rain outside, and I have I'm low on milk. I'm low on bread. I have no meat in the house whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> I I'm low on pretty much everything. No, I've got some eggs. That counts. Um, yeah, I've got to brave this weather here in a bit and. Go get me uh, some things so I can last. Shopping wise, um, I got a flea up my butt because I couldn't sleep last night because of fireworks, um, because of Guy Fawkes, and Remembrance Day being today. And I'm surprised shit's not kicking off in London. And I was gonna go to the Re Re Remembrance Day event, but I'm not going to it. Uh, large crowds just don't. Um, so. I had these box of Star Wars Legion miniatures, and so I figured I would paint them, or, or build them, and so I did. That's a Stormtrooper, this is my main, one of my main heroes, this is Iden Verso Droid. Uh, I will be getting the beginner set, even though it's like 150 pounds now, ridiculously expensive. I will be getting um, the starter set. Um, mostly because I just want to get it, and I, I want my Imperial Army. I do have STL files for Dark Troopers and a few other vehicles, um, to help reduce the cost, so there is that. Um, and I like how they turned out. The plastic, though, plastic on these, it's... Yeah, again, I'm an imperialistic. Against the shirt. I'm an imperialist, um, and uh, this is the squad leader. I'm going to call him Dave. And these guys even have a heavy weapons specialist. This guy is, and they even have a DL forty rifleman. And the rest all have regular E3 carbines. Um, and I configured her without the helmet on. She comes with a helmet or without a helmet. She's actually a TIE fighter pilot. So, But uh, when she's on the ground, she has the rank of commander, which means she is in charge of this uh, detachment, well, this, this unit. And commander's the second in command, of course. So basically, think of um, Rex and the 501st. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And then this is a teeny tiny... Which is kind of cool. And it has its own little float stand. And so I'm going to be working on coming up with a custom black that has um, blue in it. Uh, the reason why is because I want to uh, I want to do a a custom I want it so that when the light hits the model you see a black uh, it's black but when the light hits the model it's gonna have a blue tint to it so it has like a little natural um, separator um, especially for for um, Junasa it's not Junasa. Um, because um, a, a TIE fighter pilot's all black and so to, to separate it and individualize it a lot of people use um, uh, blues and stuff um, to give highlights and that and whatnot, so everyone's like oh my god you're going to be painting white it's going to be a nightmare actually no white I mean, yes, to some people, white is hard. To me, it's not. And the reason why it's not hard for me is because I know a few little secrets. 
um, white primer, then over, then go over it with a off white, and then uh, hit it with a oil based wash, um, and then pick out the details. Um, there's a, a very 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 detailed video uh, done by Duncan Rhodes of Two Thin Coats, who I. Who I'm a subscriber member of his website. He's got a really cool detailed video on how to paint a stormtrooper. Uh, so what I will do is I will paint one stormtrooper my style and then an another stormtrooper his style and see which one works. And if I like his style better than mine, I will paint the rest of them that way. If I like my style better, uh, I will paint them that way. Uh, I mean, how else she supposed to learn? Uh, oh, I updating the software on this uh, PSP this is my younger brother's PSP um, he's got some N64 games on there and they don't run as fast as they should I'm not sure if it's the emulator or if it's just the hardware I think it's the hardware because the hardware is a bit small uh, so I'm looking at getting him a full size PSP um, and running a uh, high mod on it so uh, i'm going to be getting a another w2 uh pi w2 which is pi zero w2 which is what this is um it's just for the compute module for the brain um and there's a kit you can get that you can put into a psp 1000 series model and i found one it's a japanese one it's beautiful it's all white it's crisp oh, it's cherry um i want to do the mod i want to try it um you pull the brain and the screen out and you can keep them it's for this this mod does not modify the case in any way shape or form so you can reverse uh this mod you know you know And so, uh, point is, I'm going to do that, load it up with some games that he likes to enjoy. So he's got something to play uh, while he's in bed and going to the hospital. He's decided to fight his cancer. Um, so that's amazing news. Uh, so he's going through chemotherapy and whatnot right now. So I figured um, this would be a really good gift for me to do, um, to get a psp for him and um whack a few emulators on it for him and whack some of his favorite games on there from when he played as a kid and maybe a few of my favorites uh road rash uh, one two and three three being the better um streets of rage one two and three um two being the better uh, uh um and just just general all-round you know games that i know he's going to enjoy playing um and so yeah and um, yeah, this coffee time with Cobra is not going to last this entire coffee because if it does, we'll be here for years. Um, what else have I been doing? Um, my cyber security course. I've um, got a new phone. Uh, it's a new Samsung phone. Um, don't like it, so I'm, I'm gonna. I've actually found a Samsung phone I do like, ironically, on Amazon, and it's like seventy quid. This thing cost me. Uh, via contract over 200 uh, and I hate this phone I can't stand it so what I'm going to do is um, wait for it to come off of contract and um, sorry about this I'm just talking to the devs of one of the games I'm beta testing and um Oh, and that's another thing. I'm beta testing a brand new Star Wars Galaxies server um, called New Beginnings. Uh, I'm on their Discord now, and the owner of the server is amazing. So 
the server itself is amazing i've already got uh three crafters to level 90 commando to level 90 bounty hunter to level 90 and i'm working on a medic now um they're the classes that I like to play in the original Star Wars Galaxies. Uh, I'm also, and with his permission, uh, allowed to give the client away to uh, three other people. Because when you download the client and you, you patch your files and stuff, because you have to have the original game. Once you've done all of that, um, you message him, one of the mod teams on the Discord. You have to join the Discord. Uh, tell them who you are what classes you play things of that nature um that way they can help you if there's any bugs or anything because because they're right what they're doing is they're using the earliest version of star wars galaxies that they could get their hands on client wise and they're slowly adding patch by patch by patch up to where they they think they get a good balance between fun and longevity within the game um they're not doing it so that you you go straight into the game go up to a vendor and the vendor gives you enough experience to instantly level you to level 90 that's not what they're doing they don't want that they actually want you to go out and do the missions and grind and everything else do the space combat uh, the space combat works which is amazing the only thing they haven't gotten working right now is the tcg game um which is understandable um because the art assets and stuff are copyrighted by lucas arts not sony so that's a whole can of worms fighting with disney over that so they're not going to be adding the, the tcg if you didn't know um star wars uh, star wars galaxies had a built-in digital tcg game that you could play while you were like macro grinding and stuff which was freaking awesome and i used to love playing as the empire um i had an empire build i had a sith build um and it was amazing my 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 pia uh, 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 um my pet uh, a deck was just fucking amazing plus when you bought digital booster packs um you used to get uh, uh parts of a collection and once you got all 10 parts of the collection you got a rare in world game item usually uh an item that you could put on display or a title or in this case if if, if you did um uh, revenge of the M uh, was it revenge of the sith you if you got all the specific holocrons you got uh, a cop copy of of, uh, da um, of uh, darth vader's chamber thing where he sits in and it opens up in that one scene you know you could get that um you could get the emperor's chair from from the death star you could get um sp uh, imperial uniforms things of that nature you, you could even get rebel uh, uh items and stuff like that you could get a, a little thing of yoda's house um which was kind of cool yeah and so yeah it's 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 been it's been a blast uh, um he has given me the okay to stream it and so i will be streaming it uh if not today then on the weekend so look forward to that uh, where i will be going through um making a new character live on twitch and you guys can come follow me through it will be either a um I don't think I want to do a Jedi. Um, it'll most likely be a um, spy or a um, Did we just picture the No, it'll be an officer. I'll do an officer. I'll do an Imperial officer. So that would be cool. Um, yeah, so that's what I've got planned, guys. Um, and the new phone that I'm I'm want to be getting um, is only about 70 quid. Brand new from the manufacturer on Amazon. And they've got it in stock. So I'll get it the day that I order it. None of this 90-day wait like with Timu or with 
fucking wherever. I literally get it because it's in stock. Um, I will get one, and if I like it, um, I'm in the process of designing and building my own pseudo Steam Deck, um, where it will. The idea of the of, of, of the deck is it's going to be using Joy Cons. Is that the most readily available? easy to use controllers so it will be using joy cons and so again i'm just going to use this as a, you know I'll, I'll i'll use this one as an idea um so i want it about the width of this phone then the joy cons but i want the screen just a little bit bigger so it can be like a seven inch screen um seven seven and a half inch screen um really deep I, uh, uh, dpi ips panel um with some Staggered 18650 batteries at the bottom and the top. So it's got a really good long battery life, about four and a half, eight hours. I'm, I'm, eight, I'm hoping for six hours, minimum four. Uh, if I get more than that, then I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, if I want to keep it compact, I'll go with flat packs like you got them like in, a mo in a mobile phone. Um, and uh, hopefully I can stagger those batteries and get a little bit more juice out of it. I'm going to get a big, um, the biggest SD card that I can get right now, which if I look on, again, most of the parts I'm getting is going to be from Amazon. Let's see. Biggest SD card that's in stock right now is 128 gigabyte by ScanDisk and it's 10 pounds. So... But I want the ScanDisk Extreme, which is 15s. And again, it's 128 gigabyte. What's the biggest they got? Yeah, 128 gigabyte and up. 128, 128, 128, 256. Samsung Evo. Uh, UHD 4. Mm, 100, 130 megabytes a second read, right? 512 Samsung Evos. Samsung Evo. Uh, Samsung Evo. Pluses 256 Samsung Evo Plus, uh, Amazon Basics 256, Amazon Basics 128. Um, is it U3? No, I need, I need a really good, readable, fast, readable chip. So it's got to be, let's see what you got. Oh. No, it has to be SD. There's a regular SD. I need micro. So. Back one. Boom, there we go. There's a micros. Micro SD. Fine. Um. So they've got SanDisk, Samsung, and Gigastone. Gigastone's always had... I've always had issues with Gigastone. Um, so I will probably pick up a few. Uh, pick up a couple of... Uh, a few of these. And then that way I can smack them in um, my phones. See, this is my Kali Linux phone. But I've got to wipe it. Um, it's out of storage. And I can't... There's no SD cards to upgrade the storage on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it. And I am going to put... A Kali Linux, um, a Kali Linux terminal that's going to tunnel into my laptop. So it's going to have all my laptop's features and power and whatnot. Basically, the the the, wind, the, the phone's just going to be a, a, a an input output terminal, and if has in essence, it's just going to be a screen with a keyboard that's going to be letting my laptop do most of the the grunt work. Uh, at the same time, it's also going to be um, it's going to have a few little other things on there. Um, in essence, it's just going to be a uh, overgrown pie an overgrown raspberry pie uh so that way i can throw a little a little uh, a, f a few little things in there that i just want to have fun with like a um, panagotchi things like that nature just just small little single board on board computer stuff that i can just mess around with and have fun with um but yeah that's that's the goal um i've also got to get a screen and a battery for another phone i just picked up on facebook marketplace um pretty cheap i got it for like 20 quid 
Uh, the battery is going to be about, I've got the battery in stock, but the screen is going to be about 35 and it's going to have to come from AliExpress, unfortunately, which means it's going to take absolutely fucking forever to get here. Um, but once that's here, uh, I will be able to throw that back up. I've also got to go see my mum at the beginning of this month um, here soon. I've got to go see my mother. I've got to go see my mother dearest. Uh, and then I'm going to Newcastle for Christmas. Uh, a friend of mine up in Newcastle has uh, asked me if I want to basically go for Christmas dinner. So up there for, for the Christmas period. Uh, so that shall be done. So yeah, that'd be awesome. Get the good old mega bus, which means I will be able to take. Like I said, hence this is why I'm looking at getting a uh, something to entertain myself while I'm there. I mean, I'll have my phone, but um, that's going to be for work mostly. Uh, my laptop again, mostly for work. I've got this tablet, but that tablet is. I want to hack that tablet and give it more ROM memory, more RAM, and I also want to unlock it. Uh, but unfortunately, it is locked solid. Um, but I know it's a generic motherboard. Does that make sense? There's just no drivers out there for it to unlock it. Um, and even then, I've got to find an operating system. Uh, I, say I, I want to grab it so that I can run Kali Linux on the thing and literally just run... Kali Linux on a tablet. And everyone's like, why do you want to put Kali Linux on everything? Because again, I do cybersecurity. I want I want to have the flexibility to just pull out an old phone and go bleep. Terminal A Alt Username Password. I'm in. Amex. There's my desktop. Now I'm in a desktop environment on my phone. It's actually my laptop or my one of my, my home computer at home. So I've got all the, the the processing grunt power of that lot, if that makes sense. So password cracking, things of that nature. Uh, I'm also going to be converting. Um, what I'm going to do is get another uh, a fourth PC, but that one I'm going to completely just overhaul it. A new motherboard. So I'm going. I'm going. Uh, uh, and I'm going to Intel to AMD. This this second this fourth AMD rig is going to be replacing the Arc computer. The Arc computer uh, is going to be turned into a GPU um, powerhouse. Not for mining. Again, everyone's already like, oh, going to go crypto mining. No, I'm not going to crypto mine. I am going to have at least four or four or six graphics cards. I'll probably go eight because I hate odd numbers. Let's like see. I mean, I get it. Six isn't technically an odd number, but to me, it's an odd number. Um, and so what I'm going to do is turn it, um, turn it into a proper, um, like password smasher GPU kind of thing because that's what you got to do. Um, when you password when you when you try to brute force a password, uh, it's a lot easier to use GPUs to brute brute force a password for like Wi-Fi. Um, Bluetooth is easy to get past. All Bluetooth is is pairing and 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 uh, emulation. So basically, I send out a pair request. Case in point, um, this phone wants to hack this phone. I send out a pair request. I, oh, I'm I'm a set of core headphones. Okay, so this, okay, this phone is telling this phone that it's actually this a pair of core headphones. Okay, it goes oh. You're a pair of headphones. Okay. I will pair you. Bing. I've got a low-level pairing now. Then with that low-level pairing, I just slowly but surely escalate my privileges up and up and up and up. See, not a lot of people want to know this, but when you buy a cheap set of in-ear... These are, these are destroyed, by the way. I, I lost these when I was at the gym. Um, when you get off-brand... Um, AliExpress, blah, 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 kind of, of um, uh, uh, earbuds. And then they ask you for your contact details and various other things. You're literally allowing this. You're, you're, it, it, it's escalating privileges and you're allowing it. So 
case in point, person's going to go, why are my headphones asking to repair? Okay, bop, 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 bop. And he, unknowingly, has now escalated me down near to, to, to the same privileges that he has as, as a, as a uh, tier one um, user. And then I just go, whoop, root for standard usual cheap root admin. If it won't let me get in that way, I'm, that's when I break out the GPUs and it's like root, uh, bing, I'm in, done. Now I'm an admin, slash who am I, admin, uh, 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 slash who am I, root. Okay, cool. LS dot dot. Now I'm in the root directory. Okay. Storage. Copy. Da -da 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 -da. Open up an SSH. Now literally my machine's going and just harvesting his phone for everything he's got. Which usually depending on the on the phone and the target, if it's an Apple phone, you're only gonna have maybe 30 gigs. If it's an Android phone and they've got an, an, an SD card and whatnot, I will have to earmark a, um, the best way to describe it is um, when you do a, vi a virtual station, you have to, when you, when you are in the setup process of your virtual station, you tell how you, you, the virtual station, you associate hard drive space to it from your actual physical hard drive well you do something similar to that on the machine so the machine's gonna have to have like a, a two terabyte drive just on the off chance i have to go oh 128 gig do, do, done so 128 gigs of that hard drive has now been allocated to this dock to this to this to this container and then that entire phone's everything from its 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 bios its rom file everything that's on that phone literally just gets harvested and then just spat into this container. Dong. And then I disconnect from their phone. And then I just start harvesting through that container. I don't have to worry about them detecting me. I don't have to worry about their phone heating up. I don't have to... Basically, at that point, I'm bit mining their data. If that makes sense. I'm literally bit mining their data or, or hard drive mining their data. And all of a sudden, it's like, okay, these are these images from Instagram. These are these images from WhatsApp. And nine times out of ten, that's what the person's looking for. They're looking for uh, inappropriate pictures that you've sent people. Then they, they check the person's name. Oh, they're under 16. Got him. He's now a pedo. Then all of a sudden, you get a blackmail email with, with a, a, a uh, edited image of like, like your junk pixelated kind of thing. It's like, we've got your information. We've got everything. We know what you did. Send us 5,000 in Bitcoin or whatever to this, this bit wallet address. Which is usually a routing bit wallet, which means what that means is there's constant charges going to and from this wallet. So it's once it hits, so once that Bitcoin hits that wallet, it's gone. Is before you know it, it's just washed into like a million different different things. And trying to track every single one of those Bitcoins back is, I mean, yes, technically you could go through the ledger, but the ledger alone is just going to take you forever to do. And by the time you've done it, they're gone. They've spent it. They've spunked everything. So, um, so yeah, that's the plan. The plan is to, I went on a bit of an ADHD tangent for that. I apologize. Um, and then I will be starting on the cosplay blaster that I got. Um, I have to do a lot of work to it. I mean, it's a good, it's a good blaster. Good blaster. Um. Well, I have to, I know I've got my green screen filter on, so don't worry about that. But uh, there's some um, screw bosses that I have to completely putty up, cover it up kind of thing. This is an EE3 carbine. This is what uh, Boba Fett uses. Um, it's also what uh, uh, Boba Fett uses it. And uh, I think there's like two other bounty hunters that use the, the EE3. Um, even though technically it's an outdated blaster. Uh, it's a good blaster. 
and so yeah i'm going to be putting on some 3d printed greeblies as well um my animal signet is going to be going where boba fett's logo is my animal signet is going to be going there which is a sea turtle because uh, i'm going polynesian i'm uh, uh, uh my whole armor is going to have like a shark theme with polynesian things on it so i'm gonna have like a uh, uh sea turtles and, and and shark fins and whatnot so on my blaster you're going to see a sea turtle on my right shoulder pad no left shoulder pad you're going to see a sea turtle and on this shoulder pad you're going to see a shark fin like a shark's nose face kind of thing everyone's like why because i am a big fan of megalodon why am i 40 000 like a polynesian space Oh, God, blimey. Green juice for the win. But yeah, um, so these are uh, Star Wars um, um, Legion miniatures. They're great miniatures, but the plastic, for some reason, just slurps up my uh, Tamiya extra thin. I mean, literally, I could literally... I, I, I swipe it, and I'm literally watching it dry as my brush is still dragging the rest of the glue across. I was like, what? The plastic is just glue hungry. It's like, give me more, give me more, give me more, give me more. It's like. So it took me two or three attempts to get them on there, but they are solidly on there now. So I'm happy about that. So uh, they will be on the bench here in the next few days. Um, not until after I finish those death guards. So I look forward to seeing that on uh, this weekend as well. So there will be a painting stream as well. So yeah, I've got tons of things planned um so i've got the next upcoming four weeks off so i've got four weeks for content i haven't played world of tanks in probably three weeks four weeks mostly because i have been burnt out on it doing the whole uh, on grind for the object um And uh, so, yeah, I've got tons of stuff to do. Anyway, guys, this video's been going on for 30 minutes. I'm going to piss off. You don't want to see me for more than that. Anyway, take care. And I'll see you guys in the next one, guys.